In this video, I'm going to show you the difference between all and all cross filtered DAX function. So today I saw a blog post from SQL BI regarding the difference between all and all cross filtered DAX function. I found it useful and I thought to create a video on it. Let me show you the two tables that we have and the relationship. So we have two tables, product and sales. And uh, between these two tables, we have a relationship on brand. On these two tables, we have many to many relationship, which is unidirectional that is from product to sales so these kind of relationships are not regular relationships so in ideal cases we should have one to many relationship between product and sales so the product should have distinct brands currently which is not the case it has duplicates in the brand column so it's creating a many to many relationship and and also in our day to day development we see these kind of relationships so now let me show you what i have created in the report view in the report view i have taken a column from the product that is brand and I have taken a sum of this amount column from sales. So it's giving me the sum of sales amount for each brand. Now our requirement is to calculate the percentage of sales amount for each brand. To calculate the percentage of total sales, we will have to calculate a total sales column. So basically to show the difference between all and all cross filter, we just want the total sales measure. So we are just focusing on the total sales measure. So let's create a measure. We'll right click and click on new measure and say total sale to calculate the total sales what we generally do is we do calculate sum of amount from sales and then we'll say all sales uh, as we don't want any filters from the sales and we close the bracket so this is our total sales measure now if we pull this total sales measure in this table it is not showing the total sales it is just showing the sales amount for each brand it should ideally show 2950 in for each brand in each row Currently, it's just showing the sales amount for each brand, which we don't want. Now, instead of all, if we use all selected, it doesn't work. Again, if we do remove filters, which works the same as all function, it doesn't work. So what is the issue here? So the issue is we are applying filter on sales. So we are ignoring all the filters from this sales table. Okay, if I go to the model view, we are removing all the filters from the sales table. Ideally, it should show me total sales correctly. But since we are connected to product in a many to many relationship, this all function doesn't work correctly here. For this reason, if you want to ignore all the cross filtering as well. So in that case, we can use the all cross filtered function. So let me show you. I'll go to this total sales measure. And instead of this remove filters, I'm going to use all cross filter DAX function. And if I now click on OK, see, it's giving me the total sales as 2950 for each brand. So this is the difference between all and all cross filtered DAX functions. So all cross filtered basically ignores all the cross filtering as well which all function cannot do. So all and remove filter can work correctly only if the relationship between the tables is regular. It is one to many relationships. But in case of complex relationships, you should go for all cross filtered DAX function to ignore any kind of cross filtering as well. So I hope you found this video useful. I'm going to link the blog post from SQL BI so that you can check the difference between all and all cross filtered functions in detail. So if you like the video, do not forget to subscribe my channel. Till then, goodbye and thanks for watching.